I think that life science companies are looking for partnerships rather than a landlord that really understand how the nature of their business can ebb and flow, how they can raise money overnight and need space within six months. In a life science world, those ebbs and flows are quite frequent and having a real estate partner that understands that and can respond to that in a way is absolutely critical. Innovation is hard, but it's thrilling when it works. To get there as fast as we can, because the kind of discoveries we make matter, we need to collaborate, not just with other scientists, but also other organizations, cities, councils, and patients. Scaling requires a good real estate partner, someone that can move with you through tough times and good times. Clusters bring together industry groups and organizations that maybe share a specialism that are dispersed over a geography together so they can share an identity, share some infrastructure, share services, build visibility in the marketplace. When you bring those players together and you really organize around them a community where they can interact but also develop real joint projects and uh, shared commitment, together the innovation economy will, will really grow. ARC is a great partner for science and innovation organizations. And those organizations that are in the business of solving the world's most complicated scientific challenges. Our job is to help those scientists and their organizations expand, grow, succeed, thrive, hire great talent. And that is important to me, it's important to Brookfield, and I think we're already doing a terrific job of that. We have over 250 member organizations within our network. We have four key clusters within the Golden Triangle in Oxford, Hammersmith and West London. We have about 1.6 million square feet of existing buildings. They're up and running, fully occupied with interesting organizations. But we also control land where we can build another 5 million square feet over the next period of time. And then we have an aspiration to expand into Europe. And I think over time, as we look into the future, the ARC name will be a, a leading player in science and technology and innovation real estate. There is no reason why ARC can't be a worldwide network.